Tonight, there is a controversial Draw Muhammad rally planned in Phoenix as part of a free speech rally where organizers are telling people to protest Islam and bring guns just before evening prayers are set to begin. Now, you might recall there was an attempted attack at a contest in Texas where police shot and killed the two gunmen who tried to ambush the event. ISIS claimed responsibility for that, but that claim was never confirmed by the United States. And, of course, there was that massacre of the offices of French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, which claimed the lives of 12 people. Now, last night, the man who was organizing tonight's event was on CNN explaining why he wants to do this and what he says to people who call it a bad idea. I think the whole thing is, uh, the cartoon contest especially, I think it's stupid uh, and ridiculous, but it's what needs to take place in order to expose the true colors of Islam. And some would probably argue that, you know, uh, the, the signers that signed the Declaration of Independence was a bad idea uh, back in their day. So you're and comparing yourself I, to the signers of the Declaration of Independence? Uh, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't want to live in fear. I shouldn't have to live in fear. Holding an event like this is legal in the United States, of course, but a lot of people question whether it's a good idea. That's because many Muslims face, find rather visual depictions offensive. The Quran, however, doesn't even mention that. Now, joining us is Dawood Walid, the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, Michigan chapter. Dawood, let's just get right to it. Can you give us some perspective about why some Muslims feel depictions of the Prophet Muhammad are offensive? Well, one of the issues in terms of the depictions in which, by the way, the, there is a difference of opinion amongst Muslims uh, ourselves in terms of these depictions, it's more of the spirit behind the depiction. So no group of people likes to see their figures or people who they believe are divinely inspired to be uh, insulted. And uh, Jesus Christ is also a, a prophet, uh, according to Islam, and uh, just as we don't like seeing pictures that defame or uh, ridicule Prophet Muhammad, we also don't like seeing things done in the name of art or free speech uh, that would uh, defame Jesus Christ, such as having him uh, or a depiction of him put upside down into a bottle of urine. So we are for free speech and we're peaceful people, but we also believe that there should be some, some sort of civility in terms of that speech and not uh, people being really uh, hateful uh, in the name of free speech. Are there some who believe they don't want to see any depictions at all? Because sometimes I believe some of these depictions are not offensive to someone um, by just looking at it, meaning there's nothing offensive in the way if it, if they're hanging or anything yeah. like that that you mentioned. But, but there are some Muslims who just don't want to see Muhammad depicted in any way, correct? Uh, that's